For 32 years, the auction of Washington wines has advocated for and supported our Washington state wine industry through events, education, and opportunities. This week marks the 15th year for one of the most popular and charitable annual events, the Winemaker Picnic. Joining me are Chef Alex Chan from Tom Douglas Catering and Washington wine grower Corey Brunel of Dusted Valley Wines. Hey guys. How you doing, Jim? Good to have Thanks you here with us. Uh, so let's see. Um, we're going we're gonna to make something here in a second, right? Yep. Uh, and the thing about cooking and wine is that you always want the two to somehow work seamlessly together. That's correct. And, and <laughs> what is the secret to that? How do you pair a wine with a, with a meal? Well, I think that, you know, it's really to everybody's own per personal preference, you mm -hmm. know, uh, but, you know, traditionally, you know, seafood matches great with white wine, uh, steaks red, matches great with bold red wines, but mm -hmm. it's everybody's preference. But if that's kind of where you start out, and from there you yeah. can break all the rules. Yeah, like, right? yeah, exactly. I think the rules are meant to be broken, and uh, like Alex said, you know, it's personal preference, and so if you love uh, crisp white wine, you yeah. can drink it with a ribeye steak, and, and uh, vice versa. If you like big, bold reds, you can have that with a chicken salad as well. It all sounds good to me. Alex, what are we making today? Well, we're going to uh, showcase our grilled salmon that's being offered tomorrow at the auction. Okay. Uh, we have some Bristol Bay sockeye here, uh -huh. and we're going to do nice. a corn succotash. Oh, so um, this time during the year is super easy for us chefs to come up with delicious dishes just because there's so much beautiful produce all around. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot of our produce that are coming in from uh, our own farm out in Prosser right now. And uh, you know, if you see over here, there's all these peppers beautiful. and uh, tomatoes and heirloom melons. And uh, yeah, it's just, you know, I like to do very simple dishes when it comes to this time of the year. So it really showcase the, um, the food. Bright colors and, and bright flavors, too, yeah. right? Or just a rainbow of, of uh, flavors. Uh, while we're working on this, Corey, what else is going on at the picnic besides stuff like this? Yeah. Well, picnic, as uh, I said, 15 years of picnic. And uh, actually, this is our 15th year as a, a winery being involved with picnic. I like to say it's the celebration of summer. Um, August is Washington Wine Month, and, and the, mm -hmm. the auction of Washington wines and picnic kind of really is the, is the headstone of that. It's nice to plan things in August because all too much in August, we're thinking about, oh, back to school, summer is wrapping up, and I don't like thinking that way at all. Uh, so, uh, Alex, what does the event benefit? Who does it, who does it benefit uh, more specifically? Great cause for the Children's Hospital and also mm -hmm. for the Washington State Wine Science. Okay. So. Great. So, uh, good food, good wine, and all for a good cause, too. Yeah. What's happening here now? Where well, are we? we got some onions and some peppers here. We're going to just saute it a little bit and get a little bit of caramelization it's going. starting to smell pretty Spartan good. Smell good. Yeah. Here. And then here, we're going to start making a little sauce that we're going to use for it. So uh, it's called mole creole, mm -hmm. and it's just a little bit of orange juice here. There's some lime juice to get a little bit more of the acidity in there. Uh -huh. And also some fresh garlic. And then uh, a little bit of uh, oregano and toasted cumin here. Now, this is what I love about chefs. They just like yeah. a little of this, a little, a little of that. Yeah. You kind of go on instinct. Oh, you got to taste out. everything, right? You know, you got to make sure it tastes good. Yeah. And then make sure that, you know, uh, just let the ingredients shine, you know? Uh -huh. Not too much of the, um, you know, foo foo and make it so that, you know, there's so much going on, you don't know what you're eating at that point, right? Yeah. What is it you guys like most about the picnic and barrel auction? Oh, we, I, I just love the fun, the to? fun, relaxed nature of it. It's um, you know people just hanging out, um, enjoying each other's companies. Uh, Winemakers will be walking around, sharing bottles of wine. Um, there's so many different events, from like a ring toss that you can win bottles of wine to yeah. actually being able to bid on uh, silent auction items. Um, and one of the most famous things is the private barrel auction, uh, or excuse me, that uh, is occurring um, during that event where yeah. people can actually bid on lots uh, of wine um, that all yeah. the benefits proceed. So definitely something yeah. there for every wine lover, Absolutely. but even if you're not in, immersed deeply into the world of wine, you're going to find things that, that you enjoy as well, right? It's just a really enjoyable afternoon, evening, yeah. Yeah, so um, this has been more than 30 years now, the, uh, the Washington Wines weekend, I mean, uh, the weekend of Washington wines, did I say it right? That's right. Um, and in 30 years, I bet the wine industry in this state has changed a lot. It's uh, come on very strong. Well, absolutely. I mean, um, the industry has grown significantly mm -hmm. and has gotten much more serious. Um, just like the auction, you can see how the industry has grown. The auction has grown 32 years, over $46 million raised um, oh, uh, wow. for, for children's and, and uh, Washington wine science. So it's uh, pretty tremendous to see the growth and prosperity that the, that the industry has created here in the state. That is fantastic. Alex, how, uh, how close are we getting to this whole thing? 
Well, we're going to add some fresh uh, corn right now in here. Okay, well, we, we should up. toast We should toast while we're doing that. Sounds then. good. While this is cooking up, we need to absolutely have a toast. Can you do that? Can you drink while you, uh, while you I cook? I must. <laughs> drink drink <laughs> while you work. Well, cheers. Here's, cheers. Here's to the picnic. Yeah. Here's to Washington wines. Absolutely. Hmm. Sunshine in a bottle. Oh, that's nice. What is this we're drinking? This is our uh, Boomtown Pinot Gris. Uh, this is the 2018. Um, this is um, going to be harvested from uh, some vineyards in the northern part of the Columbia Valley. Mm -hmm. uh, so a little bit higher elevation, cooler site. So really kind of preserves that natural acidity, but still you get that nice, beautiful fruit. And um, you know, I like to see like a little bit of pink apple that comes yeah. out in this wine as well. So, so at one time people thought only great wine could come from France. And then as things evolved, they said, oh, California is pretty good for wine too. Now, uh, you know, Washington State is seen as one of the leaders in wine production in this country. What is it about where we live that makes for such great wine? Yeah, perfect climate for growing uh, wine grapes. Um, you know, we have over 300 uh, days of sunshine in eastern Washington and uh, a pretty semi-dry climate. So mm -hmm. um, makes farming really quite easy by comparison to some other uh, grape growing regions in the world. Yeah. And with that, you've just seen a tremendous amount of people that are really coming here and uh, have shared a dream of wanting to create world-class wine. Great. Well, this is smelling pretty good, Alex. Where are we now? Oh, we're going to flip the salmon here. Oh, look, wow, at, look that. at that. Now, how do you know exactly when to flip the salmon like you that? You can tell, you know. It's always a guessing game for just me. Just looking at the side when it starts to, you know, kind of have that more cooked color to it, you're ready uh -huh. to flip. And here we use the uh, salmon rub that we use of Edis. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to sear it too long or else the sugar is going to That's Tom burn. Douglas's invention right there. Yeah, right? right here. I've used that stuff on all 20 years ago. So, you know, yeah. I started selling this, um, you know, right right on the uh, Edis line and people loved it and we were selling them a little pack. And yeah, so it was something that was really popular line. in the restaurant and then they brought the salmon rub into, exactly. the, into uh, you can get them at stores now and everything yeah. else. Yeah. So where the vegetables are coming together? Yep, and we're going to plate it here. So. Okay, we've got about, what, 30 seconds or so to get this plated. Can Perfect. we do it? I can, can we make it happen? I think he can. We 30 seconds fumble. to plate it, 30 <laughs> seconds to eat it. Get ready, Corey. <laughs> get ready. All right. It's good competitive eating right, right now. Right. Boy, that right looks here. really good. What do you call this dish? This is just uh, seared. Uh, we're going to be grilling it on site, but we're going to be mm -hmm. doing applewood grilled Briscoe Bay sockeye here with mm -hmm. uh, some salmon rub on top oh, that's and then beautiful. a corn succotash right there. Wow, so. you do excellent work. Yeah. And the, the wine was excellent work, too, I have to tell Thank you. Corey. Thank you. All right, the uh, auction of Washington Wines Winemaker Picnic is tomorrow from 4 to 8.30 at Chateau Saint-Michel in Woodenville. We've already gotten started, but you should get on out there yourself. Have fun and help support two great programs that are right here in our state. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.